What's good YouTube, your boy JMF Flow, bringing y'all one of the most highly requested videos everybody been asking me about how to swerve catch. And my boy who actually did just play in a uh, Madden challenge to qualify for this year's Madden tournament. I went to him, I was like, bro, I saw this setup on YouTube. YouTube. Is this what you got to do? He said, no, 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 no. People are overcomplicating it. They doing too much. They saying it's buttons. They saying you got to buy a modded controller. It's nothing to do with that. All it is is just practice and making sure you're like... I'm gonna show y'all like right here. I'm gonna just show y'all. Y'all see he's in good position, right? Brandon Carr, he got a he got a whole step on me, two steps on me. But then y'all see, I just hit him with the cheese. And every time you get an animation like that, and I don't know why it's ridiculous, uh psh, beats me. But I'm gonna I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna tell y'all how to do it because it's hard to explain why you're doing it. But you wanna make sure you holding when you when you throw the ball. You can either bullet it or uh, lob it. I prefer lobbing it if you're new to it, then start to bullet it down the field. But you want to make sure he gets about 30, 25 yards down the field. You don't want to throw it too early. And then you want to make sure before you throw it, you want to hold in left trigger. And then you want to hold the left analog stick up to pass lead it up. Yes, pass leading it up will lead to a lot of overthrows. Yes, but make sure you got an accurate quarterback when you're doing it. The other thing, you want to hold up. And you want to continue to hold right trigger and up on left analog stick. And then until you like just continue to hold it. Then you're going to click on the receiver while you're still holding the right trigger and the left analog stick. And then you're going to move your left. Your left analog stick going to be at 12 o'clock when you're holding it up, right? You know when you move. Y'all know when y'all move your controller. Uh, when y'all move your analog stick in a circle or along the rim where that thing is at. You want to have it at so you want to move it down the three along the rim and back just a little swerve and back like like y'all see me moving the ball you want a little swerve just like that like y'all see how my how my swerving this ball right now you don't want it you don't want to hear this you don't want to do that when you move when you're trying to swerve or move your player you know what I'm saying where's the ball at where's the ball at where I have it at you don't want to hear none of that when you're trying to swerve or move your player you want it to be smooth to twelve and then back to three. That's what I say. Or smooth to three, then back to 12. And you want to make sure that guy is on a fade route or some type of fade route. So I drop back. I'm holding RT. I throw it up. I click on. I move back in. I move back out. And y'all see how I'm getting it moves a cornerback out of position. Now, Brock Oswald is just overthrowing everything. I don't know why. But I'm passing it up. I hold it. I come back. Oh, my God, Brock Oswald. Like, ah, you got an arm. Like I said, I'm holding it up. I'm holding left trigger. The left the left analog stick up soon as once i pass lead it up and i'm holding turbo i'm gonna keep holding the left trigger and i'm gonna pass lead like i'm still holding up i serve him in serve him back out by that time he just made a play on the ball uh, but like i said back i saw you just throw it on the money i lob it i serve him in serve him back out and that's what's gonna happen most of the time like then you you just walk you walking in and up for six like i said this ain't a guaranteed touchdown every time if you get really good at it you can you could you could really fuck some people up with this like like y'all see how i just get them out position i just keep getting that same animation i don't know why ea put this in the game but like i'm holding right trigger i'm a pass lead it up i'm still holding up i'm holding turbo i serve them in serve them back out that's the animation you're gonna get most of the time like I said, you're going to hold turbo, pass lead it up. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm, I, I can't even serve him on this. Oh, no, nah, I couldn't get it. But like I said, you want to make sure you got an accurate quarterback. With, and because you are pass leading it up, you are it, are, it is going to be a lot of overthrows. So I'm going to serve in, back out. Oh, my God, I'm overthrowing the ball. But y'all y'all get the basic idea. Uh, but make sure you're still holding turbo. I'm holding turbo right before I throw it. I'm still holding up. And boom, just like that, it's that easy, y'all. You get the corner out position. So I'm holding turbo right now. I'm holding up, and I'm still holding up. And y'all see, even with this. Oh, my God. Brandon Carr made a play. But like, even like, you, you want to make sure when you do pass lead it up. Uh, let me just chill right here. Boom. Get here, and then come here. Like, that, that's the animation you want. So you want to hold turbo right before you throw it and continue to hold turbo and up. And the reason you holding turbo and up and you're going to keep holding it because when you click on the receiver, you still want to be running straight and fast. So when you by you already holding turbo and up when you by the time you click on him, uh, he's not going to move out of position or slow down because you're still holding turbo and you're holding up. So he's still running forward and he's still running fast because you're holding turbo. So just right here, move him in and you just see how it move him out. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this game. Like, it's it's ridiculous. Like, I don't really use this. I don't like to use this. Oh, my God. Safety made a play on it. That's because I, I passed it, like, more to the right. 
But like I said, um, I don't want to take too much of y'all time. Make sure it's a fade route. Uh, make sure y'all just follow and practice. That's the one thing y'all want to do. Get him out of position. Boom. That's exactly how it's going to look. Make sure y'all practice. Make sure you got somebody tall there so he can go up and get the ball. Because, like, you can do it with fast people. But like I said, uh, you want to make sure it's somebody taller. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, even here, I'm going to get him out of position. That time it didn't work because I, like, I think I lobbed it. I done waited too long. Like I said, you want to make sure you're like 20 yards down the field. Like I'm gonna throw it now. Serve him in, serve him back out. That time he just got overthrown. But like, like I said, by uh by you uh pass leading it up, you are gonna lead to a lot more overthrows. And once you get good at it, you can start bullying it down the field and doing that. But like I said, uh that's for like the pros, AKG, all those people. Uh that's when you really get good at it. Uh but like I said, I don't know how to do that yet. Like I said, I almost got it right there, but it's real hard to do. Because especially you got to do, it's the same thing, but you got to do it a lot faster. So that means you got to get used to, like, oh my goodness, yeah, I can't redo it. Like I said, I hope y'all take this video. Go, I don't, I don't even want to say go practice because then everybody will start playing like some cheesers. And that's, uh, that, that's just BS, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, if you don't wait till he get down the field, like y'all see how I threw it early, the corner won't react. So you want to wait till he get down the field, throw the ball, and boom, right here, you see how the corner just moves with me. Like, the corner just going to move with you. Like I said, I don't want to take too much of y'all time. I really don't want everybody playing like this, but you know what I'm saying? It's, I mean, that's just the way it is. It's freaking, it's mad, you know what I'm saying? But make sure y'all got an accurate quarterback, like I said. I hope this is helpful to some of y'all. I hope some of y'all don't play like this. Uh, <laughs> like I said. Like I said, it is real messed up. And, uh, like, y'all, I did it in my gameplay one time. If y'all watch one of my old gameplays. Like right there, I almost did it to him. But like I said, it is harder to bullet it. And I just hope, I hope to God, like, uh, oh my goodness. Oh my, like, like I said, this game is messed up. Just, just, that's just crazy how he can get out of position. The fact that he can even get out of position and make a cornerback get out of position like that. Like, look at that. That's messed up. Uh, he just getting a ball overthrown right now. I think he got to back back further for Brock Osweiler. Like I said, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It's it's real messed up what's happening in this game. Like, yeah, that's messed up. I'm sorry. That's just messed up that you can do that in this game. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, use this as you may. I don't condone this, but do what y'all do. But until then, it's your boy, J-Man Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go.